Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are going with hornworm breeding. It is a holiday weekend right now, and um, we are keeping a close eye on uh, all of the eggs that are being produced every single day and working with different ways to collect the eggs. As you can see right here, I got creative with with some of my uh, facial attire. I had a bunch of extra ones and since uh, I am not in need of them, I am using them. They are perfect because she has laid, well, when I say she, many of the girls have already laid eggs on them and I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So, because I don't have to do anything with them, I just kind of rig them. They're just dangling there. And as you can see, we've got a female right now that says, hey, you know, she's been busy laying eggs for about 15 minutes now. Um, I just gave her some fresh nectar and she took a big drink and then, oh, she's drinking right now. Look, oh. As you can see, she's drinking right now. You know, when you're laying a bunch of eggs, you've got to keep your uh, energy up. They look so much like hummingbirds to me. I think when people first breed them, they're a little bit shocked that, that I mean, they're not that big, but they just remind me of little hummingbirds or mice with wings. Somebody's thirsty. I have two of them going all the time. There's another one. So, I wanna give you a close up of how the eggs have been collecting nicely today. Look at that. Those are eggs. Well, not the perforations, but you can see the eggs. Those are eggs. Lots of eggs. Isn't that great? I've got four of them hanging in here, so hey, this is a perfect example of when I say you have to use and think outside the box. Maybe you don't have the perfect reptile supply formal budget, you know? So look around, be creative, think like a scientist, think like an engineer. And if you can come up with something that, again, I always say is sterile, it's clean enough, there's no chemicals or sprays on it, then go ahead and get creative. And I, I guess this is just a good example. Um, as, as well as the pool tube in the back. They've been laying eggs all over that pool tube. You have to really kind of get in there every day and, and just pop them out. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, I'm gonna go over some things in the near future, some mistakes that I made this go round that caused me to lose a lot of them. They were just overnight, one minute they were healthy and the next minute they were dark brown and pretty much dead. So I'm gonna share um, what I believe went wrong. And um, so in case it happens to you and you're wondering what in the world you're doing wrong, um, you can at least <laughs> learn from me, right? Um, like I said, this is a journey that's gonna take you know, several, several, several tries in a row before you get it right. And even when you get it right, breeding hornworms is more, I think, fun in the process. Just going down the journey road and um, breeding hornworms and watching them go through their entire cycle is to me very special. So it's not so much about the, you know, hundreds and hundreds that you can breed from it. It's more saving some money and having some fun along the way. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, review on, <laughs> Man, look 
at her. She's going to lay some more right on the U. You know what I mean. The Where it is. There it is. Hey, if you have any extra laying around, I have boxes of them. I'm going to use them. Okay. Have a great day. And remember, God is amazing. And if you like what you see, hit the uh, thumbs up button or hit the subscribe button. And uh, have a great holiday weekend, whatever is left of it. Take care.